It is set to be the UK's biggest indoor arena, Co-op Live in Manchester. Here's that film of it being built. But the grand opening of the much-talked-about venue has been littered with technical problems and delays, and things have gone from bad to worse. The resignation of the general manager and the rescheduling of gigs for stars like the US singer Olivia Rodrigo and the comedian Peter Kay at the last minute. Well, Peter Kay isn't performing there tonight, but our Peter, Lane, has the latest from the currently closed arena. Things are moving slowly at the Co-op Live Arena. Topping the bill here today, the builders still working on the place. Much activity outside, but nothing happening on stage. Last night, fans of US rapper A Boogie With The Hoodie were turned away just minutes before curtain up, after part of the air conditioning came loose. No one was injured, but it meant no show. It's cancelled! Confidence in Court Live is just gone. We wouldn't even have been on our way if we knew it was cancelled. The UK's newest and biggest indoor venue costs £365 million and can hold 23,500 fans. It even had celebrity help with the design. Hi everyone, I'm Harry. I'm incredibly proud to be a part of Co-op Live. But the arena's original boss has already resigned and the delays and false starts continue to mount up. The marketing blurb says this will be a world-leading venue, going beyond the limits of what we once thought possible. Now, that's a nice line. The only problem is it's proving impossible to have any shows here. So far, the only person to play the arena is Rick Astley, but technical issues at that test event meant the audience size was cut. Both nights of the grand opening act, Peter Kay, were then cancelled. So too were the Black Keys. Last night's show by a boogie with Dahoudi was called off at the last minute. And this weekend's Olivia Rodrigo gigs aren't happening either. The next scheduled performances are supposed to be Keen, Take That and Elbow. Checking out the arena today, Alan, who's got tickets for the Eagles here later this month. Safe to say he's already nervous. It's squeaky bum time. So squeaky bum time? It is indeed, yeah. So you've got these tickets? We've got these tickets, for which were, were not cheap. I am nervous. Very nervous. <laughs> You're sitting tight and just keep your fingers yeah. crossed. Yeah, I, I mean, it's another 30 days, so... You know, hopefully there's a few people due to appear here before the Eagles arrive, so hopefully they'll have got it sorted by then. One public relations expert says the current strategy is all wrong and the whole launch should have been delayed. You can't just keep opening it piecemeal, hoping something's going to happen and having another PR disaster. People want to know, they want them to hear them say sorry, say they're on top of it and hear a plan that's going to take them out of it um, ahead of a, a, a proper launch when everybody be happy and clapping along to Harry Styles, whoever's playing. With fans unpicking ticket, travel and accommodation costs, it's all a bit of a mess. They say the show must go on. Here, it would just be nice if it could start. Oh, well, let's go uh, live to Peter tonight. Uh, Peter, good to speak to you. We we've heard from fans, haven't we? But what about the people who actually run the place behind you? What have they said today? Yeah, hi, Dan. Well, it may have co-op written on it in pretty big letters, but they, of course, are just the sponsor. They're not involved in the construction or operation of the thing, but they have said today that they're shocked by these cancellations. They're relieved no one has been injured. They're disappointed and frustrated and want a full explanation from the people who do run the place. Well, that's a group called the One View Group, and they've said they're deeply sorry for any inconvenience, that safety and security are their priority, and they've added that they won't run any events here until, as they put it, it's absolutely safe to do so. So they're now working with artists who've been cancelled and postponed to draw up a new performance schedule, and they say that any fans who want a ticket refund will get one. All eyes now, then, on next week's concerts. Will any of them happen?